that's why we are here. We have created Pledge, the personal life, education, growth, and development. This is your pledge. This is your personal life, education, growth, and development. And we're providing that opportunity for you. Today, I'm going to be teaching the first session, the first pledge session, and that is the introduction to fashion sketching. And we'll be just be focusing on head and body. Actually, you're, we're going to end up drawing also the the clothes so maybe uh we're gonna go now to just drawing okay now remember when i taught you about the face usually the face goes first okay just draw the face you know how to draw the face already shin and draw okay like that it's not as good as the beginning but don't worry about it because now we're focusing on the body. Draw your brow, brow, the eye, kilai, your nose, brow on the other side. Since this is tilted in a different angle, do that. Draw the eyes. So, boys and girls, <laughs> students, we are now going faster with our drawing. Put the eye, put the eye. Put the lashes. Okay. All right. Do you have it? And then you put the mouse. Okay. Okay. There you go. So when I see that it's not very proportional, sometimes I leave it alone. But tonight, because you guys are watching, I just want to tell you that you can always edit it. And like as usual, the chin is is hard. You can't the chin can be too far. Okay, so let's work on that. I'll be quiet, working on the chin and the jaw. I put back the lips. Okay. It's okay, everybody. We always start at different points, just like in life. So use whatever you have right now so you can, um, you know, finish this whole task and really see how far you can go. Then we put the neck. Okay, do you see the neck? It's just one slanting line. Now do the other side. It should be a shorter line. Okay, now we draw the shoulder. The shoulder, just draw a slanting line to the left. Okay, and then curve. Put a curve at the end, okay? A rounded curve. Okay. Now that this is longer, draw the other shoulder shorter. Okay? Should be shorter than the left shoulder. Round it. Okay. Okay. Hourglass should be right here. Hourglass coming up. Right there. Okay. Guys, we have to have a little bit rounded um, area right here for the breasts or the chest going down to a narrower hit, uh, waistline. Okay, that definitely is not my body at all. <laughs> okay, thicken your line. Okay, and then of course... Depending on what you are going to draw, what type of dress, we're going to do an A-line dress tonight or this morning, okay? So right now, we're going to do an A-line dress coming up. Of course, if it's a letter A, you already have your right there from the waist, okay? A, just spread it out, okay? Then on the other side, spread. I really do like okay uh rounded shapes okay and she's wearing a ball gown here we can do the jagged line remember i told you about the jagged lines guys this is already a design to the dress so if you already have a background in growing dresses feel free not to do that don't do that i'd like you to come up with your something of your own just make sure that um, our model is actually wearing something, okay? So, I know I promised you body, but you get a body with a dress, okay? I don't want our model tonight to go naked and 
since I want to do a Filipiniana, watch what I'm going to do with the shoulder, okay? So, for Filipiniana, you want to go like this, draw this, alright? You can already see where we are going with this. And then, you see the shoulder here on the side? Draw that. Here we go. Just continue with that. Okay. And that. Here you go. And of course, we can always go back to our work. Erase it. You may also want to leave it. Okay. Then let's go to the other side. This is a, bit, a little bit longer. Okay. Just close it like this. Okay. And then here. Alright. And see, I did not erase that. I'm going to turn that into a design. Okay. To show that this is a Filipiniana dress. Okay. And then we're going to put the arm. Of course, the arm was right here. Then like that. Round the elbow, do it like this, do the other side, and she's hiding her hand behind her, and then her elbows is just straight right here, okay? So, okay, now we're gonna put the hair, oh wait, we're gonna do this part, okay? So I'm thinking that... Uh, this is going to be a shawl, Filipiniana. You can do, watch this. I'm going to try uh, two ways to do it, okay? So you can just draw something like that. That's fine. But of course, it's not that fancy looking. I want to take that off. Okay. You can also decide to go really plunge. So you have a very sexy... Uh, revealing Filipiniana right there. You can do that. And if you think about it, that's the shape of an inverted triangle. See, knowing your shapes. Um, I've known shapes in sketches. Um, not as math, you know, figures. You can do that. And then you can have a... Okay. Or what I really wanted to do because Filipiana, Filipiana is kind of conservative. I want to do a combination of conservative and something that's really revealing. Okay. So my design would be uh, for the Filipiniana. This is going to be stretched out here. And like I told you, I like... Okay round shapes i'm gonna do the same on the other side round shapes of course it's gonna look different but of course it's a little bit too conservative i don't really want my model to be like that so i'm gonna turn this whole piece right here as a body okay so it's gonna be uh wait okay this way like that like an inverted triangle again. Connect it there with a design pattern. Like that. I guess you've seen this in swimsuits, right? Uh, maybe I'm not doing it correctly here, but um, one thing about sketching is really being able to execute what you really want to happen to the dress.
right there. And you know, you can put more in your skirt. Uh, I guess that ends my session now. Uh, here you go with our face, the body, and our um, model right there. Okay? So, Anne? Great. Let's give a hand to Miss Olive again, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you.